a very quick review on first law of thermodynamics first law of thermodynamics is based on the principle of conservation of energy energy can neither be created nor be destroyed it can only be converted from one form to another for any cyclic process for a closed system first law says total cyclic integral of q is equal to cyclic integral of w or total summation of q is equal to total summation of w for any change of state this dq which is transfer of heat is equal to de plus dw where de is total change in energy and dw is the work transfer de total change in energy includes change in kinetic energy change in potential energy and change in internal energy for a closed system the kinetic energy and potential energy can be neglected as they are of macroscopic form and we will consider only the potential energy d therefore for any closed system dq is equal to du plus dw some key points for isolated system energy is always constant change in energy is zero energy is a point function and a property of the system energy is an extensive property while specific energy is an intensive property the internal energy depends only on temperature for an ideal gas heat transfer for a closed system heat transfer at constant volume q is equal to integration of cv dt from t1 to t2 and heat transfer at constant pressure q is equal to integration of cp dt from t1 to t2 for an ideal gas cp and cv are constant with respect to temperature so it can be written as cp del t for constant pressure heat transfer at constant pressure and heat transfer at constant volume will be cv del t for isothermal process change in internal energy du is equal to 0 and dq will be equal to dw in adiabatic process heat transfer dq is equal to 0 in a polytropic process heat transfer dq is equal to gamma minus n upon gamma minus 1 into work transfer and we know work done for polytropic process is p1 v1 minus p2 v2 upon n minus 1 some key points heat transfer at constant volume increases the internal energy of the system heat transfer at constant pressure increases the enthalpy of the system in polytropic process heat transfer is not zero enthalpy it is the total heat content of the body the unit of enthalpy is joule and h is equal to u plus pv where u is an internal energy p is pressure and v is volume polytropic specific heat c polytropic is equal to gamma minus n upon 1 minus n into cv where gamma is cp by cv and n is a polytropic index this polytropic specific heat is always negative perpetual motion machine of first kind there can be no machine which would produce continuously mechanical work without some other form of energy disappearing simultaneously such a fictitious machine is called perpetual motion machine of first kind and according to first law this pmm1 is impossible first law for open system steady flow process in a flow thermodynamic uh, in a flow thermodynamic properties do not change with time at different location then the process is called as steady flow process in a steady flow process there is no accumulation of mass or energy in a control volume that is conservation of mass and energy occurs here you can see an open system inlet conditions are c1 u1 p1 v1 t1 c is velocity u is internal energy p and v are pressure and volume respectively t is the temperature and z is the elevation from datum line and it is getting exit from point 2 heat q is getting inside and it is doing a work w then steady flow energy equation says h1 plus c1 square by 2 plus g z1 plus q is equal to h2 plus c2 square by 2 plus g z2 plus w where h is enthalpy the unit uh, is in kilojoule per kg and q and w are also in kilojoule per kg q is heat given w is work transfer different applications first nozzle a nozzle is a device which increases the velocity or kinetic energy of uh, fluid at the expense of the pressure drop a diffuser is a device which increases the pressure of the fluid at the expense of kinetic energy 
and for any nozzle if we apply steady flow energy equation we will get final velocity c2 as under root of 2 h1 minus s2 or this can be written as under root of 2 cp t1 minus t2 where h is enthalpy t is temperature and c2 is velocity at exit the conditions are nozzle should be perfectly insulated dq should be zero we are neglecting potential energy changes in the nozzle and no work is done by the nozzle and last thing the inlet velocity c1 is very very less than the outlet velocity c2 that is inlet velocity is neglected next for a turbine if we apply steady flow energy equation we will get work done is equal to h1 minus s2 where h1 is enthalpy at inlet of turbine and s2 is enthalpy at, at outlet of turbine following are the conditions this turbine should be perfectly insulated dq should be zero the change in kinetic energy and potential energy are neglected next compressor work will be done on the system so work will be equal to h2 minus h1 enthalpy at 2 will be greater than enthalpy at 1 exit will be greater than enter conditions this compressor should be perfectly insulated change in potential energy and kinetic energy are neglected and velocity should be equal that is change in kinetic energy is neglected throttling device for a throttling device the enthalpy is equal that is h1 will be equal to s2 these are the conditions no heat transfer no work transfer change in kinetic and potential energy are neglected and thus we will have a constant enthalpy and it is an irreversible process now what is throttling process when a fluid flows through a narrow passage like an orifice partially open valve there is an appreciable drop in pressure energy is same and if it is an ideal gas then t1 is equal to t2 thank you